Hi, I'm Tavleen from Build Woo Funnels, and in this video, we're talking about how to customize your WooCommerce checkout page using the form builder by Arrow Checkout. Well, now Arrow gives you access to the form builder right here, and uh, let's let's just spend some time understanding the interface. So here, you can add more steps, so you can create a multi-step checkout form or if you want you can uh, just create a single step checkout form and ask for all the information on this step itself uh, then you've got the basic fields here now first name last name phone billing address shipping address these are all basic fields uh, you've got products field here which is about the information about the products that they are purchasing so after the product fields you've got the advanced fields here which is order notes shipping method order summary now now these are sections and within sections you've got field so if you want to uh, sort of ask for first name or here you want to ask for last name then you're going to drag it and drop it and you're going to put it here right and this will be in your uh, in in the section right and you can always edit this section so this is basic information so you can add some add a section here and you can call it shipping details so this becomes your section and then simply drag and drop it here and then you can collect the shipping address and the shipping method here now, as you're aware that uh, in native uh, WooCommerce checkout pages, you do not have this kind of flexibility. You cannot add or remove fields and you cannot even reorder them. But here you can do it by using a simple drag and drop. Now, the reason why you would want to do is uh, do this is because um, let's say there are some form fields which are redundant to the products you are selling. So let's assume that you're selling a digital or a physical product or digital or an information product and you do not want to collect their shipping uh, uh, shipping details, billing details. So that's absolutely fine. You can get rid of those fields. In addition, just like you noticed here, you can uh, sort of dedicate uh, the first step and the first part in the first step to just collecting their basic information like first name, uh, last name and email, right? So you can choose the order in which you want to collect their information. Uh, now, so that that's section and within section, you've got these fields. Um, in case you want to add a custom field, you can do that as well. So you simply have to add new field here. And uh, well, let's say that you are selling an, an information product, you were selling a course or an ebook, and you also want to know uh, more about the people that are buying your product. So how would you best describe yourself? So this becomes the field here, right? And um, well, here you would say, description so we want to know more about them their bio their little details about them so here you're going to write the options so let's say they are digital marketer agency or freelancer and this is a drop down right so that's the field type you've got some more here uh, like paragraph text checkbox drop down radio phone number etc so here this will become a drop down right so you can add the field here so there you go. You've got how would you best describe yourself? This field has appeared here. Now you can actually add a new section. Information. Or maybe this could actually become a part of this right here. So after they submit their email, uh, after they uh, type in their email, uh, they also have to answer this question, how they best describe themselves. Right. So this is what it is. You can add uh, add custom fields. This is again a very interesting functionality that the form builder in Arrow Checkout offers. Um, then you can add new step here. So uh, let's say here you're collecting basic information, shipping and order summary. In step two, you can actually collect the billing details. So the billing address gets captured here. Now there is no field as you can notice for the payment details because that actually appears by default. That's not something that you can drag and drop from here or you can edit, right? So that's a section which comes on default and um, that's it. So we've got two steps here, right? And we're collecting this and you can get rid of last name. Well, maybe I don't need it, right? And you can put the email here. So let's just save form. All right, so form has been saved successfully. Let's head into the design section.
So here we've got some templates. Well, I'm going to, uh, uh, you know, look, spend some more time studying the templates in uh, my another video, which is dedicated to checkout templates. In this video, well, I'm just going to tell you that we've got pre-built checkout page templates. You can select any one of them. So let me just select this at the moment. All right, so that's it. Here you go. So this is basic information and you've got the first name, email. How would you best describe yourself? This drop down appears right here. Uh, then you've got the shipping details here and you've got the order summary here, right? And then once they fill it up, they can choose to go to the next step. All right, so when you click on the next step, you will be able to see the billing details, payment information and so on because you wanted to collect the billing details on the next step, which is why it appears on step two. Uh, and this section right here is a default section. You do not have the option to edit it, uh, it right? It appears like that. And uh, here they can fill out their billing details and finally click on place order. Another very interesting thing that I wanted to share with you is this checkbox right here. So if you're actually creating a very optimized uh, checkout page, well, then it makes sense uh, to have this checkbox. Now it says use a different billing address. When they click on it, they can fill out their billing details, right? And when this is unchecked, it is assumed that the shipping details and the billing details are the same. So they are not asked for their billing address again. Uh, in order to um, bring this checkbox here, here's what you have to do. So you have to go into the billing address field here. And then this should be turned on. So different from shipping address. So if this is turned on, that checkbox will appear. Well, so that is the power of Form Builder. You can create a single step form or you can create a multi-step form which minimizes overwhelm, right? And uh, the idea is to present a very high converting checkout form so that you reduce your cart abandonment rate. And as you're already aware that uh, the native WooCommerce checkout form has a lot of limitations, whereas here you can uh, customize your WooCommerce checkout uh, form without writing a single line of code and which is what makes it a hell of a deal. So um, thank you so much for watching. I will talk more about uh, the power of Arrow and what else it can do for you in the other videos. Do stay tuned and do keep watching. Thank you.